Hi, welcome to Kimona Therapy Rituals to Process Life. My name is Christina. I'm a Reiki practitioner, a psychotherapist, and a personal support worker. This week is tapping into happiness habit number five. This one's a game changer, guys. Okay? It changed my life. It's changed my clients' lives. And I'm sharing it with you because it worked for them and me. And I want you to know about it, too. Number five is let go of specific outcomes. This one, it's not easy, but it is darn effective. Okay? Um, too often, we, we predict what different outcomes should be. And we get hung up on our predictions and we don't let them go. So some examples are if I put this money into this deal and I partner with this person, we should make X amount of money and here's exactly how it will look. Then if it doesn't turn out like that, our happiness goes away. Um, we Then we think, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I predicted. We start feeling anger. We start feeling frustration. This isn't right. Another example, you're in a restaurant. You order steak and the server brings you chicken. And all of a sudden you're angry. And you're like, this is not what I wanted. I can't believe this. We can make the same mistake in relationships. We're going to get married next year. Or we're going to go to a honeymoon in Hawaii. Or this is the way it's going to be. And when it doesn't turn out that way, what happens? We're not happy. Our joy diminishes and our anger increases. So we want to let go of specific outcomes. And one of the trainings that I did with Tony Robbins and something that he said stuck so hard when it came to me, when I heard him say this, when it comes to letting go of specific outcomes, he asked the question, what if life happens for us and not to us? There's a thought provoker right there. Imagine you're paddling downstream in a canoe, okay? And all of a sudden, the current takes you off course. <laughs> you could resist it, right? And say, I'll have to paddle upstream against the strong current and get back on the track that I expected. But wouldn't that take a tremendous amount of effort instead of just going with the current and where it was meant to lead you? What if when our course is altered, instead of being angry, we said, what if this little change in direction is a strategic part of my next level of life? Think about that for a second. Maybe this is happening for me and not to me. Maybe I should just ride the current out and see where it goes. You ever tried that before? It was a little foreign to me because, you know, as humans, we like to be in control of our life, but the universe, God, the divine sometimes has other plans. Um, some people that I know that are entrepreneurs, they start a business and their original idea doesn't work. I experienced that as an entrepreneur. It didn't work. So I ended up stopping and quitting, but then so then the entrepreneur changes course, which is what I did, and finds success in a totally unexpected direction. So again, you're, you're going against a current, stop fighting it and just continue and let's see where it goes. Um, when you're fixated on riding the current to one specific outcome, you become unhappy when things don't work out. And that's the truth. I've been there, done that. I'm sure you have felt the exact same way. So it's really important. Happiness habit number five is let go of specific outcomes. And put out there what you're putting out there. But see what signals come back to you. And do not be dissuaded or feel despair 
when things do not go your way. If it doesn't go your way, like Tony Robbins says, what if this is happening for me and not to me? Ask yourself that question and you'll start to feel the happiness again. All right. So number five, let go of specific outcomes. All right, guys, let's just take a moment. specific outcomes the heavy weight of expectations just falls off of our shoulders sorry that was the last thing that I wanted to share about that and you'll become a different person immediately and your happiness will skyrocket all right if you need some help with happiness habit number five of letting go of specific outcomes don't hesitate to email me at clonotherapy at gmail.com. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and liking. Like, subscribe, and share. Share this with your friends and family. Blessings to you. Namaste. I'll see you next week with number six. All right. Take care. Bye.